Neighborhood Heroes of the Students of Hart County Schools, Veterans Day, 2020. Renee Ransom, United States Air Force, submitted by Aiden Richards. Brian Ransom, United States Army, submitted by Aiden Richards. James Roger Avery, United States Army, submitted by Jay Swiggler. David Hubry, United States Army, submitted by Everett Hubry. Michael Skaggs, United States Marine Corps, submitted by Emery Gibson. David Majeur, United States Army, submitted by Reagan Majeur. Willis Melton, United States Army, submitted by Zoe Waldeck. Richard L. Elmore, United States Army, submitted by Waylon Skidmore. Cody Kinslow, United States Army, submitted by Easton Kinslow and Samuel Riggs. Bianca Kinslow, United States Army, submitted by Easton Kinslow. Melvin Thompson, United States Army, submitted by Brian Brackett. Robert Thomas Ashlock, United States Army, submitted by Vera Kirk. Junior Eugene Catron, United States Army, submitted by Kink Catron. Brandon Gillespie, United States Army, submitted by Abby Puckett. Courtney Vincent, United States Air Force, submitted by Andrew Gardner. Edgar Day, United States Navy, submitted by Benjamin Holthauser. Everett Waddle, United States Army, submitted by Harrison Waddle. Donahue B. Nunn, United States Army, submitted by Kaylee Logston. Rupert Pettigo, United States Marine Corps, submitted by Zachary Minor. Fred Miracle, United States Marine Corps, submitted by Gregory Miracle. Elmer Crowley, United States Army, submitted by Reed Crowley. Marion Bishop, United States Army, submitted by Peyton Estes and Aaron Courtney. Billy Horton, United States Army, submitted by Aubrey Clark. Ron Lee Harrell, United States Navy, submitted by Trevor and Dawson Harrell and Carly Chenoweth. Howard M. Swiggler, United States Army, submitted by Josie Swiggler. Mark West, United States Marine Corps, submitted 
by River West. Rusty James Branstetter, United States Army, submitted by Bella Branstetter and Jasper Atkins. Henry Bud Williams, United States Navy, submitted by Kirsten Pippin. George D. Harlow, United States Air Force, submitted by Kirsten Pippin. Larry T. Pippin, United States Army, submitted by Kirsten Pippin. Timothy Bush, United States Marine Corps, submitted by McKenna Horton. Terry Wayne Gugisberg, United States Army, submitted by Stevie Gugisberg. John Haskins, United States Navy, submitted by Hart County Public Library. Ronnie Gardner, United States Army, submitted by Hart County High School. Michael Thompson, United States Marine Corps, submitted by Alyssa Thompson. Mark Brent, United States Navy, submitted by Shanna Hensley. Danny Warder, United States Air Force, submitted by Isaac Smith. Jerry R. Sanders, United States Air Force, submitted by Emma and Ella Sanders. Brent Foman, Army National Guard, submitted by Kaylee and Aiden Wells. Randall Logston, United States Army, submitted by Rachel Fields. Michael Ray Lovensheimer, Jr., United States Air Force, submitted by Katrina, Catherine, and Michael Ray Lovensheimer, III. Kyle Skaggs, United States Navy, submitted by Annabelle and Lindley Butler. Jim Jupin, United States Navy, submitted by Aiden Bruner. Chris Overfelt, United States Army, submitted by Harley Overfelt. Autumn Johnson, Army National Guard, submitted by Briarly, Bailey, and Besley Fraze. John Ash, United States Marine Corps, submitted by Gabriel Ash. Ben Nichols, United States Army, submitted by Briarly, Bailey, and Besley Fraze. Jeff Hoffman and Phil Hoffman, United States Army, submitted by Amelia Hoffman. Noah Jonathan Moores, United States Army, submitted by Molly Marino. Terry Steger, United States Navy, submitted by Saya Coomer. Richard Steger, United States Army, submitted by Saya Coomer. 
Ryan Yates, United States Army National Guard, submitted by Ryan Yates, Jr. Cord Whitaker, United States Army and Army National Guard, submitted by John Allen, Jaden, and Emmeline Whitaker. James Gambino, United States Air Force, submitted by Addison Gambino. Kimberly Gambino, United States Army, submitted by Addison Gambino. Charles Ray Smith, United States Marine Corps, submitted by Shanna Hensley. Robert Shane, United States Army, submitted by Luke Shane. Dave Brown, United States Air Force, submitted by Luke Shane. Everett J. Cox, United States Army, submitted by Hunter Bruton. Rodney Waddle, United States Army, submitted by Jack Carver. Orville Pete Hahn, United States Army, submitted by Becky Sue Butler. Jerry Wayne Hahn, United States Army, submitted by Becky Sue Butler. Carlos Ramos, Jr., United States Army, submitted by Noah Richards. Zachary Cook, United States Navy Reserve, submitted by Chad Stearman. Christopher Langner, United States Army, submitted by Camden Daly. Harley Pathel, United States Navy, submitted by Ezra Coble. Sean Connor, United States Marine Corps, submitted by Emma Smith. Rufus Skaggs, United States Army, submitted by Clayton and Allie Logston. Clinton Raymond Skaggs, United States Air Force, submitted by Clayton and Allie Logston. Barry Keith Miles, United States Army, submitted by Cooper and Owen Miles. Bobby Riggs, United States Army, submitted by Caden Nunn and Raven Cox. Chance Cox, United States Army, submitted by Raven Cox and Kaysen Cox. Eli Cox, United States Army, submitted by Raven Cox and Kaysen Cox. Willie Cleo Thompson, United States Marine Corps. Willie Thompson was a young man who fought and died in World War II. His body has yet to be recovered. There is a stone in the Thompson Cemetery at Big Windy to mark his empty grave. It says, missing February 14, 1944. Gave his life for his country in World War II, somewhere over the waters in the South Seas unknown. A family member has been contacted and informed that his plane has been located at the bottom of the sea, and the government is working to match the DNA of each soldier with the family member. I look forward to hearing the news that one day his remains will be returned to his grave site. Submitted by Linda Childress. Veteran Memorials in Hart County. Hart County VFW Veterans Memorial. 
Hart County Veterans Memorial located on the courthouse lawn. Veterans Memorial Walkway in Cub Run. Veterans Memorial in Bonneville. We are grateful to all of our veterans, both past and present, for their service.